know how to do that, chums, as I, Captain Stephen Exo, and today, chums, I've got a little bit sort of bored with my freighter layout. In fact, I don't think my freighter layout makes much sense. So, yeah, the only part I am super duper happy with is the actual bridge over here. So you can see here I've actually put all the different terminals for all my NPCs up here to make it a more active place. Hello there, Ty Leaf. Yeah, he's back. Awesome. So, yeah. I really do like my bridge setup, and if you want to see how I did all this, I'll put a link up there to my previous video on my freighter base layout. But for now, chums, I'm going to start deleting everything apart from my bridge. So I'll see you guys in a mo. Yeah, through the power of editing. Righto, so I have now deleted pretty much everything. It's all gone. It's all gone. There's nothing up here anymore. So there was a few different elements that sort of just felt a bit janky and out of place and just upset the flow. So I'm hoping to build out something a little bit nicer up here that just makes a little bit more sense. So I can come aboard my freighter, do what I need to do, and then get off my freighter. I don't spend a great deal of time up here. So yeah, I want to make it a bit wider up here so I'm not sort of trip tripping over myself. Oh, infantry fall. I'll be right back with you and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so what I've got is I've got a line of these carbon racks up here, the standing planters. And you're probably thinking, why, Captain Steve? Why have you got so many carbon racks? Well, look at this. I'm going to collect all my carbon off of these racks, chums. Here we go. Let's just grab all of this carbon. Yeah, I've got some more in between my command rooms there. So I've got command rooms spaced in between these carbon planters to make it look a little nicer. Don't worry, I'll show you everything that I've done in a bit. I just want to show you this. So here we go. I'm just going to grab all my carbon. And that's it. That's all my carbon planters. I'm not, I, I could go to town. I could have had a shed load of carbon. But you think it's going to take, you know, 15, 20 minutes for that to grow back or something. But you just run down here. Make sure you go through both doors. Run back up again. And the carbon is back! Sell it back and the carbon is back! <laughs> and then you can just gather it all again. I know, you like your leafy greens, right? There, yeah, here we go. Let's head on over here. And all of this has all grown back as well. So you can just keep grabbing carbon. Now, early game, I suppose you could maybe even use this to make infinite supply of units. It, it's a little bit of a cheesy way of playing, I suppose. But yeah, it, it's there. For me, I, you know, I always run short of carbon for some reason. You know, making carbon nanotubes or doing something. So here we go. And now I'm just going to run back upstairs. <laughs> here we go let's go back upstairs boom it's all back again so yeah i've got an infinite carbon supply should i ever need carbon i know it's freaking mind-blowing isn't it yeah infinite carbon supply heck yes <laughs> freaking awesome yeah you can take that to the bank chick -chick pow chick -chick pow awesome <laughs> mind-blowing stuff okay right so now with my freighter base tour here we go. So, yep, here I am. Right out. So you've seen my carbon racks, which is, you know, there's quite a fair few of them there. My bridge has remained the same. I just need to bring all my little guys in to the actual bridge. I'll do that in a moment. But yeah, that remains the same. You've seen the uh, benefit of having these carbon racks here. And as I stated before, I've, I've placed all my different command rooms in between these carbon racks just to sort of make it look quite nice. It also has that sort of more organic sort of ship about it, you know. I'm trying to make the oxygen naturally inside of here for my inhabitants and make it a greener friendlier place so i've got a little bit of everything growing in all of these sort of bays here in these sort of planter trays so i've got four of every type of plant so it's not a great deal but you know why there's duplication in the actual game it doesn't really matter i can just get those four plants and i can duplicate them to my heart's content if i need to be i've got a lot of nutrient processes for making food and i've got this little robot dude here that i've created i love him i think he's freaking sweet he's so cool yeah I, I really like that it looks so cool doesn't it, it looks like a little r2d2 yeah and i've got this sort of area here which almost acts like a teleporter room which makes sense being quite near to the bridge and this with this sort of radar dish also adds to that it almost feels like yeah that's a proper teleporter room and now all these rooms because they're janky as heck and you're bouncing off the tables when you're trying to run past them and things i've stuck them out of the way so i'm not going to get caught up on them i've got my galactic trade terminal there i've got my save point here i've got everything i need as soon as i come up onto the actual board of my freighter so i can do what i need to do and i can get off again 
Heck yes, I think this feels a lot more functional than it was before. And I always do my news videos from up here on the bridge. And I can just call my little chums in on here to make it feel a lot more active and a lot more of a friendlier place. So here we go. Hello there, Stan. I hope you're doing good, my friend. Let's run past him. So he's always there. I mean, he's the normal one. But there we go. We've got Gar, our, um, yeah, our weapons guy. We've got these two guys. This is where I do my news from. And we've got him, which is Ty Leaf. Hello there, my little chum. Awesome. So there we go. We've got a full ensemble of chums on deck. Yeah. So there we go. That's my new freighter base tour. And I hope you've enjoyed it. It's as simple as that. I've kept it short and functional. So I hope you liked this and I hope you got some ideas from it. And I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again.